start by saying what's up YouTube I'm Chris Church um so you in on a little bit of why I've been doing what I've been doing <clears throat> with the tree frogs um, collecting the spade foot toads and then now the barking tree frogs um, the um, it's just been little project because we have so many Cuban tree frogs. Let me show you what I mean. Last year, the Cubans were not this bad. Cuban tree frogs. And this year, Let me see this. There's a little bullfrog. Oh yeah, I forget my light drowns this stuff. So here is a little bullfrog. I hope y'all can see that and I'm not messing this up at all. Um, you can see a few tadpoles in here. Like that one right there. And the one next to it. I can't even tell if those are uh, barking. And that one is a barking. That one down there, I'm pretty sure is. And they have the gold lines through them. It's pretty easy to tell. Okay, so. Yeah. So here is a Cuban tree frog. <clears throat> Great colors. I mean, this is just, they look amazing when they're in the uh, breeding period. We're just going to use a container here. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to put this one in. They do try to jump back out. Um, I recommend uh, being quick about it. Being very quick. You can see I'm streaming. Um, you catch me on Twitch once in a while. My Twitch is Mr. Church, 1984. Here's another. Another one right back there. So I will try not to destroy the plants. These are my plants. <clears throat> that one just got away. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to put the container down. And the reason I'm going to do this is because when you blind them they don't move so hopefully he'll stay he was born here he's a cool little guy hey little guy you see that i'm petting my froggy upside down so anyway um <clears throat> that one was one of those tadpoles they used to be back here <clears throat> There's one right here. Oh, he just darted. <clears throat> Jeez, so many. But I may be ruining it for the night on catching these. There's a couple more. As you can hear, here's one male as well. And we're just going to ever so carefully here. I'll try to show them. They see him puffing up, trying to protect himself, which is quite interesting. I've seen the female I fed to my Everglades rat snake did this in a sort of way. So we're gonna take this one, we're gonna put it in the container.
and search for the next. Then we got two. And what we're gonna do with these, I won't fill y'all in on that. You can see, can't see in my dirty, dirty fridge. Um, we take and put them in the fridge. And then once they go to sleep in a sort of way, we put them in the freezer. And putting them to sleep helps ensure that they don't feel pain when, damn it, this one right fracking here. Yeah, he's getting away. No, he's not. No, he's not. Anyway, I feel like I can't have mine reproduce, my other frogs, if these are around. And everybody in Florida knows that once you get rid of them around your lights and stuff like that, make sure you can see a little better. Once you get rid of them around the lights around your home, you start to see the native squirrel tree frogs and then green tree frogs. And then you might be so lucky to have a few barking tree frogs or a gray tree frog slash Cope's gray tree frog. Um, I may have one, but I can't identify those. Um, there's been too much debate on the frog forums. Um, and I haven't come in contact with enough of these or understand the genetic side that I have little I've read um, haven't been too clear on how to identify other than the calls so in that regard mine is either gray tree frog or Cope's gray tree frog I will not make a judgment call on what I believe yet <clears throat> um damn I guess I lost my damn shirt out here. We'll take that in. Um, so yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys heads up on really what goes on a lot of the time. This isn't many. Like the other day I had like 20 of them. Um, so maybe I am doing a little bit of a dent. At the same time, they've been breeding in the front pond and my front pond broke again when tubes broke. So I've got to buy all new tubing that's like inch and a half that I cannot really afford at this time to repair that front pond. Um, it's not really a huge rush. I've got another, I've got the fountain running. Um, this, the crack that was hit back here needs to be addressed again. It just keeps flooding. So I'm gonna address that from the inside again try to hit it really high up um my brother has a plastic welder so maybe one day we'll um look into doing something like that for this project you see the uh duckweed and the little uh i don't know what the other stuff is um growing really well i mean there were a ton of frog tadpoles in this i don't know how they're doing right now um here's one I didn't think it was barking. Oh my gosh, there's a little barking. Look, he's little. And these have been out here a while. <clears throat> so, can't hurt to move some plants. Here's a fish. Uh, yeah, I can't hurt to do this and give them a little breathing room. This way. This way these guys, um... can actually crawl out because this stuff's pretty thick and those little tadpoles sometimes I don't know some places are a little looser anyway you can see quite a few tadpoles in here um unfortunately the Cuban tree frogs also come in here I think the Cuban man, there's a cricket right there look at that it looks like mine it looks like mine. I lose mine all the time, too. Christy's been seeing these all over the yard. Well, he's gone. Um, 
Yeah, the Cuban tree frogs do reproduce here. They reproduce everywhere. I mean, this thing. This thing's looking pretty clear right now. Um, I think I did put a couple barking tree frogs in here. There's bluefin killifish right here. Oh, that was a spider getting my hand. That kind of hurt. Um, let's see. Body of that looks very Cuban tree frog. Can't really see, but you can see all the um, containers I've got in there. I, um, yeah, I have a crawfish in there. Looks like a damn lobster, little guy. But um, we found him out one time. Not recently. We've had him for a while, so I don't even know if it's alive. Um, yeah, I gotta get inside. My T-Rex hatched. So I'm gonna get back to ARC. I'm streaming this, been AFK for 30 minutes. Y'all have a good night.